Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, my name is Jonathan. It is 5 11 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time. It is July the 5th, 2018. Um, I'm going to read a little bit. Um, so, I mean, if you've watched any of my videos, whatever, I mean, it's kind of, it's all kind of repetitive. It's, I'm unhealthy overall. Doctors suck, they don't really do much. Um, but I have the highest regards for doctors, the ones that actually do their jobs. Um, but I have like a lot of knowledge in my head. But because of my brain disease and everything, sometimes I have to, you know, do other things. Um, I'm trying to like basically take information that I've learned from uh, different sources, whether they're from books or the internet or from people or whatever. And I, I try to make sure that it's all sound based, like it, it's good, you know. So um, there's this book I'm gonna, I'm not gonna read the whole book. Um, I don't really know about copyrights or anything. I mean, as long as you're not reading the whole book or trying to like promote it, like in the sense of getting money or whatever. But it's called Autoimmune Fix. So I've only read a couple pages. It's a it's a library book, but um, the one that I was um, kind of interested in. So the one that I was kind of interested in uh, these different little pages is uh, sugar. So with the sugar, I mean it's probably like two three chapters. Well, probably like four or five pages. Um, I'm just trying to take bits and pieces of it out. So, um, let's see. Let's see if I can get some good stuff that maybe you can learn. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of new to this. I'm trying to get into it so maybe I can get into where I can actually, you know, be like these gurus, you know, these uh, uh, leading authorities on health and nutrition. So, um, Sorry about this, I'm just kind of everywhere today. Not exactly colored at all. So, um, huh. oh, that's interesting. So, some 120 million tons of refined sugar is processed yearly, 70% from sugar cane and 30% from sugar beets. Sugar itself is not bad for you, but bad sugar is bad for you. Yeah, bad sugar is definitely bad for you. Uh, there's a few health benefits and even le wait, there are a few health benefits and even less nutritional value to processed sugar. Yes, um, I was listening to some other book and they were talking about that, uh, and by law, they, they have to strip like all the nutrients out of the sugar. Um, I think to call it, uh, I don't know if it was glucose, I don't think it was glucose, it was something. Uh, sucrose, I think. You know, to do that, I'm like, wow. I don't know. Um, I'm sure. Sugar, the, yeah, like sugar cane uh, actually has some nutritional value. In developing countries, children chew on sugar cane every day and don't get cavities. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So, kids in the developing world chew on sugar, uh, sugar cane every day and they don't get cavities. That's good. Um, every day and don't get the cavities. But in the United States, children who eat lots of sugar laden sweets end up with lots of cavities. Um, when children chew on sugar cane, they are exposed to the entire plant and ingest many other vitamins, minerals, polyphenols, and antioxidants, as well as sucrose, the chemical extract table sugar. That's what I was just saying, dude. Yeah, so by law, you have to essentially, uh, to have that sugar, you have to strip it. Um, I don't really know how that plays out, 
Um, I don't remember, but they were saying something about that. Um, I guess to like get it like, I don't know, because I mean, they sell sugar cane too, right? I mean, I don't think sugar cane is very common like, you know, uh, sucrose table sugar, but you know, I mean, I, I hear about it sometimes. Yeah, I mean, like, some sodas have sugar cane, but I saw that and I've never really heard about it. Um, I'm not really trying to actually read this whole thing, but I, I haven't really read it. Uh, yep, basically most are, um, huh. So basically, it was saying that most, um, you know, kids are snacking on refined sugar, and it's uh, in its most important uh, potent state. So sugar beets contain uh, hemoglobin, the protein best known for carrying oxygen in the bloodstream in humans. I didn't know that. Yet when sugar beets go through a multi-stage uh, refining process, there is no hemoglobin left in, in the product. I didn't know that. The only thing I know about hemoglobin is for my blood test. And it has to do with oxygen, as it said. Um, don't be fooled by brown sugar or sugar in the raw. As healthy alternative, it is just refined sugar. It's just refined sugar with caramel color or molasses added. Wow. I didn't know that. Seriously, I didn't know. Wow. I thought that was actually healthier sugar. Um, if you are a sugar junkie, you may have already recognized that every time your body craves sugar, you may need a little more of it just to get the feeling of satisfaction. Okay, I don't really need to. We all know that. Um, <laughs> what does that say? I enjoy um, gluten free poppy seed pastries and I allow myself one every three to four months. But if I were to extract an active ingredient in poppy seeds that contribute to enjoying that taste so much, wait, what? Three to four months, if I was to extract the active ingredient in poppy seeds that contributes to enjoying the taste so much, I'd be eating pure heroin. One of my favorite television shows, Mythbusters, once proved that eating just two poppy seeds bagels is enough to test positive for morphine, which is a byproduct of heroin, which is made from poppy plants. White table sugar is uh, the same kind of end stage extract of sugar cane, or sugar beets as heroin is to poppy seeds, and just as addictive and lethal. So I don't know much about poppy seeds, but I've actually heard that. I've heard that if you eat poppy seeds, you, um, so I guess poppy seeds is the heroin. I, I don't know. I gotta actually do research on poppy seeds. Okay. Like one of the things that I wanted to read. Okay. So we've all heard that eating too much sugar can trigger uh, is a trigger in developing diabetes. We all know there are three types of diabetes. The first type has always been known at, to be autoimmune disease and it occurs when antibodies have destroyed enough cells of the pancreas so that it is unable to produce enough insulin. Oh, wow. Type 2 diabetes is related to years of excessive intake of sugar wearing out our sugar regulating system. People with type 2 diabetes do not need extra insulin. What they need are medications that help get the insulin from the blood 
stream into the cells. This is called insulin resistance. There is an autoimmune mechanism. We now know that type 2 diabetes has a very strong autoimmune component. Insulin resistance is associated with a unique profile of IG, or IgG, little g, big G, antibodies, which are associated with increased inflammation that produces excessive, uh, excessive visual and both what? A-D-I-P-O-S-E tissue. Fat. That is the the spare tire that you may be carrying around your waist. It's freaking visceral fat, dude. Um, and it's the result of another autoimmune mechanism. In 2005, researchers found a third form of diabetes called type 3 diabetes. This is an insulin resistant in the brain resistance in the brain causing dementia. Right. Richards found a third form of diabetes called type type 3. This is insulin resistance in the brain causing dementia. Researchers are now uh, conducting type 3 diabetes with Alzheimer's disease. In the last two scenarios, excessive sugar exposures wear out the brain's and body's ability to man, uh, man, manage insulin levels. You may have plenty of insulin, it's just not being used properly. Of the many complications of excess sugar, here are some of the psychological impacts developing on autoimmune diseases that related to, re to relate to both an increase of inflammation negativity negatively affecting the, the immune system. Okay, this is what I actually wanted to read. I know it's kind of long. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop after I read the last one. So it's probably about two pages. Okay. I don't know if you knew this or didn't know this. We're all learning, okay? Okay. Sugar upsets minerals, the mineral relationships in your body. It causes chromium and copper deficiencies and interferes with absorption of calcium and magnesium. These minerals, particularly chromium, are essential in the production of antibodies. Sugar feeds cancer cells and has been connected with the development of cancer of the breast, ovaries, prostate, rectum, pancreas, biliary tract, lung, gallbladder, and stomach. The drain on antibody production to deal with these cancers depletes the immune functions. Sugar can cause many problems with the gastrointestinal tract, including an acidic digestive tract, indigestion, malabsorption, and the, the malabsorption in patients with functional bowel disease an increased risk of the autoimmune diseases, Crohn's disease, and ulcer ulcerative colitis. Sugar can cause premature aging. More antibodies are necessary to get rid of aging cells. Sugar can cause autoimmune diseases such as arthritis, asthma, and multiple sclerosis. Yes. Sugar can cause a decrease in your insulin sensitivity thereby causing abnormally high insulin levels and eventual diabetes which is often an immune disease. Sugar can lower your vitamin E levels which can initiate the autoimmune process. High sugar intake increases advanced glycogen and products or in products A G E S sugar molecules attacking to and there thereby damaging proteins in the body. 
Sugar causes food allergies. Sugar can cause toxemia during pregnancy and can contribute to eczema in children. Sugar can cause atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. Sugar can impair the structure of DNA. Sugar can change the structure of protein and cause a permanent alteration in the way the proteins act in your body. Sugar can make your skin age by changing the structure of collagen. Sugar can cause emphysema. Sugar can cause enzymes. Wow, I thought that was just smoking. Sugar lowers the ability of enzymes to function. Sugar intake is higher in people with Parkinson's disease. <coughs> Sugar can increase kidney size and produce pathological changes in the kidney, such as the formation of kidney stones. Sugar can dam damage your pancreas and compromise the lining of your capillaries. Sugar can cause headaches, including migraines. Sugar can increase your risk of gout. Sugar can increase your risk of Alzheimer's disease. Diets high in sugar will increase free radicals and oxidative stress. Sugar adversely affects urinary electrolyte com uh, composition. Sugar can lower down the ability of your adrenal glands to function. I mean not lower but slow, slow down the ability of your adrenal glands to function. Last uh, like four or five of them. Sugar has the potential for including abnormal metabolic processes in a normal healthy individual and for promoting chronic degenerative diseases. High sugar intake can cause epileptic seizures. Sugar causes high blood pressure in obese people. Sugar may induce cell death. Sugar can cause gum disease. So, there's a lot of things that sugar can do. Um, probably depression, I think I saw. Emotional problems. All kinds of stuff. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I've, I've never really read this book. That's probably as far as I've actually read. Um, but the book kind of, it kind of looks cool, to be honest. You know? I mean, I, I definitely need to, um, to read it more, you know, if I can get on this level of reading information and then being able to word it how I how I want to word it, you know, kind of making it my own um, video stuff, you know, I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that do the same thing, but then again, I'm sure there's people out there that's uh, reading out of the book, which I don't know if that's a no-no or not. I mean, I'm not copying it you know I'm not doing like audio like I'm gonna read the whole book um, but I got no rights to the book just saying you know so I don't like I said I, I don't know I, 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 don't, I don't know um, but yeah It's just so crazy, like, I'm just, I'm thinking about just my issues in general. I'm just like, wow, dude. You know, like, all my different stuff, right? It's just insane. And then, like, coming back and reading some of these books, I'm just like, oh my goodness, dude. And then I think about, like, the healthcare system in general. 
especially when it comes to chronic diseases, like trying to actually figure out what's wrong with somebody, trying to help them out instead of just giving them medication or pills and stuff. So maybe I can, like I said, maybe I can, you know, take all this information and, you know, come up with something. And if people are actually listening to what I'm saying, you know, study. You know, and that's what I, that's what I would say, you know, um, regardless if you have the best insurance in the world or if you have the crappiest insurance or you got no insurance. I think the best thing that you can do is invest in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. You know, you need to start investing and time um, you need to do what you got to do to get better you know I would recommend a plant-based diet that's automatically gonna help I mean if, if you like the meat hey you like the meat you know that that first blood of meat you know is pretty uh, interesting and then you just you can't get enough right but meats also killing people you know astronomically all types of these show this you know I mean I'm not saying that there's not really much of a difference <clears throat> to be honest between a, a vegan and a, um, a meat eater you know plant based person because um, they, they you got vegans that have heart attacks um, but there's there's a lot of stuff I mean there could be many reasons but I, I do know that um, there's a our ratio of three to six omega fatty acids are it's way off our sixes are like up here and our threes are like down here so that's the only difference between the Mediterranean diet and the American diet really um, but yeah sugar can wreck your system um, what I do know um, I don't really know much about sugar um, I know that um, it causes um, heart attacks all the time um, I know that sugar is um, I think six to eight times more addictive than cocaine I know that I think it's four to eight or yeah, it, might, it might be it might be four to eight hours four to eight hours so every time you introduce sugar into your blood, uh, your body stops making white blood cells, which is essentially uh, kind of messing your your immune system up, you know, because it has to, you know, try to re regroup. Um, what else do I know about sugar? Um, I know eating too much sugar can screw you up. I know sugar makes can make you obese, but personally, I think uh, I think there's other things to that too. Because there's people that they're always eating sugar, man, and they're they're jacked up. But they're also their metabolism's high, so they're probably burning all that off. Now, does that mean it's it's right to be doing that? Because you have some people, you know, like these. Um, people that lift weights like heavy weights and everything like they'll drink soda and eat a couple candy bars and you know work out for hours dude and then you got other people that you know eat other things and you know so I don't know but I'm going to get off uh, I just kind of wanted to make this video I don't know how relevant it may be to you uh, you may have learned some new stuff uh, I know I learned some new stuff that I didn't know. Um, I thought uh, the sugar, the uh, em emphysema. I was like, whoa! I didn't know that could. Uh, I'd actually like to definitely find the science about that one now. Um, but I have noticed I, I get a lot of good books. Um, huh? I get a little. I get a lot of good books. So, chiropractor, CCN, and then DACBN. I don't know what that one is, but that middle one, I, I don't know about. Take that one at your own risk. Uh, actually, I wasn't going to become a CNN, but, uh, or a CCN, if that's what I think it is, but. 
I don't know. Oh crap. Fire department's here. Gonna give me anxiety. I already got anxiety. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna have my anxiety, buddy. I'm gonna get off. Alright, cool. I hope you liked it. Um, comment, all that other stuff. You know, help some people out. You know, give some symptoms, whatever. Any advice, whatever. That'd be awesome. Um, like I said, I, I really do want to try to do this right now. I'm just kind of in my rookie phase. Um, hopefully I can get everything done and maybe I can get into the whole, like, editing stuff and, you know, thinking and just kind of, you know, doing my own thing. Because like I said, I got like over 400 books, dude. So, yeah. Alright, peace.